Look at her. Isn't she fucking beautiful? Well, I hope you were able to see her. That was Angela just now. Season 2 of Lobotomy Corporation. And of course, our very first abnormality is old and trusty, one sin and hundreds of good deeds. It feeds on the evil that surfaces during conversations between people. Let's go! Or you could also say, oh shit, here we go again. Hello Angela. And Angela says, hello X. Welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. Even though it's season 2, and we've read all of this already, the first time around, I honestly can't remember much about it. It's been almost a year now, I think. So, with renewed knowledge about what the fuck is even going on behind the scenes in Lobotomy Corporation and with A and X and stuff, if you don't know anything about Lobotomy Corporation, what are, we, what are you even doing watching this video? If you really don't want to play it yourself, go back and watch season 1. There will be a link somewhere in the description or something. Because, beware, this playthrough will be full of spoilers and me theorizing about what the fuck is happening, what certain things mean and what they are trying to foreshadow, what Angela is all about, all that weird stuff. The only thing that that's not getting spoiled I guess is new abnormalities that I don't know about so I ask you to also not spoil me on the interactions mechanics and lore and stuff because I want to experience it myself. I'm not some kind of second-rate cuck that wants to know everything firsthand from others. I want to do it myself which is yeah why the sound just cut out didn't it? Oh <laughs> there it is. Um, which is why I do all of this stuff, why why I do all of this stuff legit, because I love beating White Knight. And oh god, I tried it again the past few days. I didn't manage to do it um, because I wanted to do it AFK, as to not to move Galena, so I did it on day 50. And it didn't just, just didn't work out, but my plan is that I'll definitely do it in the future and I just need a few more gifts on whoever is gonna be my giga chat to do it. Anyway, back to the story. Lobotomy Corporation. Welcome. Hello, Angela. My name is X. Don't know if you're new. X or Manager Lambda Delta, you can call me as well. I'm Angela, your advisor and secretary. Even though I am AI, feel free to talk to me. AIs can have a name, you know. I'm created from one of the wings of the world. That means I'm one of the best. Actually, created from our wing, I guess, but she doesn't tell us. Ah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I look too human to be an AI, aren't you? You look pretty cute. But there's a big difference. I am bound here. I can't go anywhere I want like you do. Hmm. Already I'm not quite sure she's telling the truth here. <laughs> I can open a door or prepare a cup of coffee for you, but I can't go outside to enjoy the sun or breeze. Maybe because we're thousands of feet underground. <laughs> I need to be shot up in order to leave. Well, as you can see, my hair color is that of the morning sky after the rain, my voice is that of the wisest person in the world, and my face is that of the person with the most beautiful smile. <laughs> Which is fucking common, isn't it? Oh god, this sentence alone is so harsh. And X can be glad that he doesn't remember. I wonder if he told her to say this, or if she came up with that herself. Haha, <laughs> it was a joke. There's no such a person in real life. Not anymore. She's fucking gone. And there's no way we can get her back because... You replaced her somehow. My appearance has been made to be attractive to as many people as possible. Well, what a coincidence. It's the same for me in real life. If you feel attracted to me, I'm working as intended. Well, AIs are far more efficient than humans when multitasking. I am the best in most areas. I can do the work of several dozen people at once. I am sure that many people lost their job because of me. I feel sorry for them. Enough for the introduction. Do you have anything that you want to know? Let's, let's try to inquire about Angela. How should I describe this in layman's terms? Well, I heard that it took enormous effort to create me. 
Yep. <laughs> new algorithms and features were developed, writing a new chapter in the history of AI. And I served the company. In search of solutions, we stumbled upon mysterious, being, mysterious beings dubbed as abnormalities. Of course, this happened all before she was created, so she's trying to sell this concept as something new. And figured out that we could harvest energy from these beings using a special method. I wonder when they wipe X slash A's memory and make him be X again. Do they implant fake memories of his past life? Or does, doesn't he just wonder, where the fuck have I been so far? Why am I suddenly here? How did I, how did I even get this job? While AIs are commonplace nowadays, I'm quite different than others. I can closely imitate human emotions. This is not easy as emotions are unpredictable and complex, just like you. Along with other functions, I can be your perfect partner. <laughs> oh, already day one and she's already trying to get in our pants. And you have joined the company at an opportune moment. Lobotomy is looking for ways to improve its harvest processes. Our systems are continually updated to support this. Speaking of which, there has been a new update just before you came. That means working conditions have been improved than those of your predecessors. Think of it as my welcome gift. I hope you do well. I was about to mention you. It's weird that they change the scene to this to this one where she sits in a chair and then just immediately go back. I wonder if this means anything, actually. I was about to mention you. You don't understand the concept of patience, do you? What? Manager, I think you should meet other AIs. Yay! Starting with Markov. Lobotomy is a huge corporation and there are many AIs working in different departments. If I'm the Cerebrum, they're the Cerebellums. Naturally, I'm your most trusted AI. Naturally. <laughs> you're the only AI actually, <laughs> so you're not lying this time. You're the one I trust the most because you're the only one. Shall we meet them now? Yes. The memories of all Sephiroth are synchronized. What? So I don't get to see them this time, or what does this mean? Control team? Oh yeah, okay. I guess we don't see every single story segment, sadly. I might have to go through them in a different video then. Good day, would you like to expand the control team? Yes, Merkav! You're still a robot. That's sad. I would have liked to see a human form some more. Well, not really human, but past human fake robot farm whatever ah oh, the first memory repository okay we'll do i don't know how many days will we do today two to three maybe i'll try to keep it rather short today because longer videos will come as i said before so daphne is our designated worker they gave us to start with Let's put her in, and let's hire some more. Let's do we want an Alex? Let's get some. Let's get some Alex action in here, and let's get Doom Day. <laughs> oh God, no wait. The hairstyle is far too similar to Alex, so we'll get someone else. Let's get Firenze. Sure. Uh, department full of cute girls. I hope. Okay. Um, this is our starting team, I guess. Let's get them out. Um, others have suggested to only use weapons of abnormalities or suits of abnormalities I already have in my facility. But this is an idea for a challenge run. I think this one is supposed to be quite chill and I want to focus on the task at hand of finding new abnormalities. So I'll just give them the best shit they can get so far. Since they all have stats of free, I guess they can take everything. Except for the level 4 stuff so far. And obviously no LF gear at the moment. But we'll get there. We'll fucking get there. Let's give them some suits. Oh yeah, of course. This one looks pretty cool. Let's give it to you. Oh, it's a shame I didn't unlock the suit for this Black Swan um, family. Anyway, Firenze gets the magical girl outfit. And Alex... Which one looks cool? I quite like the green stem one, to be honest. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Seems like 
like a good start, right? Three really strong people. One white weapon, one mixed weapon, and one black weapon. I hope no one goes crazy from one sin, though, because <laughs> that, that would be a fucking shame. Let's go, let's... Oh, no, I don't... Do I have corridor healing? I guess I do, so... What do we want to level up first? Let's get attachment up first. And we also can speed up already, so day one should be really fucking quick. It should actually take me longer than about two minutes or something. <laughs> That's a real speed run. And I don't even have to be any faster than usual. Ah, ah, this is so nice. This is so fucking nice. I can't just concentrate on doing shit without being afraid of of White Knight or something. Let's work everyone once. Or do I want to grind stats? I guess I don't. He's only saying here. It would take too much time to grind some stats. Yep, that's the energy. But before we do anything, Alex needs to work one last time. Alex gets to do that attachment as well. Oh, that's cute. I have five bullets. <laughs> that's really fucking cute. And I could actually call the rabbits down on them. <laughs> but I have low openness. Okay, I guess. I guess. Ah, uh, perfect work result. Let's end with that. Without even hitting a meltdown. Day one, well complete. Bam. Really easy. S rank. 2 minutes, 21 seconds. Sounds actually kinda, kinda long and slow. So, we increased our stats already. Which goes to show that they increase incrementally. Is, is this the word I'm looking for? So you don't actually need to increase... Um, the thresholds. Anyway, whatever. Skip to next day, yes. So my game crashed earlier when I tried to do this the first time. I clicked day one and... And it just straight up crashed, so I'm kinda glad that it works. Now do I want to re-extraction because I'm only getting abnormalities I already know? Even though I'm missing gear from 1.76 MHz? I think I'm gonna re-extract. Let's see if I get something now. The Punishing Bird! Somewhere in the distance you hear seagulls. The Open Can and Fairy Festival. Okay, let's go with the Punishing Bird though, because as I said, um, I want new stuff and the bird event, even though I don't know much about it, I know there's a third bird I'm still missing. Let's start with Punishing Bird. Face the fear, build the future. It's the motto of the founder, whom we call A. Face the fear and build the future. Okay. Sounds logical, right? If you were a new guy and you'd heard the motto of the company and it would be face the fear, maybe you would hesitate a little. You'd think, what kind of fear am I supposed to be facing here again? But then again, the future always sounds nice. <laughs> Which part of the motto do you prefer? Uh, obviously facing the fear. <laughs> we're the first humans on Earth to discover abnormalities. Are we though? We know that the birds are kind of naturally occurring. I wonder if there's only one single punishing bird, for example, or if there's several of them. Because if we manage to snatch the only punishing bird in the world, that's pretty fucking crazy. But I'm sure they, they've shown themselves to the humans before. Well, not me. I'm not human. You wish you were. Actually, you kinda are, I guess. How should I put it? We're pioneering a whole new world. The discoveries we made so far is merely the tip of an iceberg. Abnormalities were among us from the beginning. We have only recently noticed the presence. It's not recently, is it? The timeline in this game is really fucking weird. You can't really pinpoint the point of when stuff was really happening. Obviously, with the whole TT2 shenanigans going on and us being trapped in the time loop. So. What we're experiencing is kind of like a little time pocket while the outside world is standing still, I guess? It's all happening in an instant or is the TT2 not quite perfect and time is still going on on the outside? Well, I guess I guess it is because I think Hockma said that for us it's been thousands of years or something but in reality it's been shorter than that. Anyway, we discovered them and we fear them. They are frighteningly alien in nature. Let's go expand the control team. Do we want to immediately hire some more people? 
Not sure. Do we? Some more a 18 people. Uh, let's let's get a fourth slot. Come on, higher. Heal yo. <laughs> That's an amazing name. Ah, oh, and I haven't seen this one before, so let's see. Oh, I need to deploy him first. Helio. Helio is a guy. Let's... Let's... Just... Let's assume his gender. Right now. Helio, you get the Hornet gun, which looks pretty fucking cool. Which suit do you want to wear? Shed skin? Be my guest. Let's start day two. Maybe I'll do four days today, I don't know. That's actually pretty fucking short, isn't it? So let's see, punishing bird liked, uh, insight, or oh, attachment. Oh, of course I can work two abnormalities at once now. And I can speed up the day again. Oh, not, not both of you, one of you, okay. Oh. I guess I have to remember that my people are not quite on the same level as Cloy, Hunter, Harry, Brown, and Galena, obviously. They are kind of shit so far. Which means I need to level them up some more. Oh! It's a meltdown, sure. But nothing is really happening. Of course, ah, oh, Department can't be hit by meltdown, right? So, oh my god. The second run is so much easier. It's incredible how... Incre incredibly easier it is. How much... Oh god. I mean, I was looking forward to this because obviously no white knight to baby babysit, right? But all the mission progress, all the stuff you get from doing the core suppressions and beating the game and unlocking so much, it's actually really, really good. And I've punished myself <laughs> by not doing this earlier, but still. I guess I kind of liked it. I like the challenge. Uh, as I said, I've been looking forward to this so much. I'm not necessarily looking forward to editing this, but that's a problem for the future Lambda. That's not my problem. Right now I'm just enjoying playing. Ah, oh, look at this perfect work result. Let's try to end on another perfect work result on one sim, but without punishing Bird getting out, if possible. So which one of you wants to try? Here, yo, you haven't worked anything today yet, have you? No, you have? Oh, actually you did. Okay, but still. Okay, let's... Oh no. Oh! I didn't know that you could interrupt them from going to the abnormality by pressing the button as well. Ah, oh, let's see. Is it Punisher? He didn't respond at all. And bearing the pain is half the atonement. Ah, oh, perfect work result on both! I want to end my days like this. That's amazing. Day 2 work complete. 4 minutes 50. You can write that down on my speedrun sheet. I'm really fucking quick. Yes. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes, barely, of recording. And already I'm up to day 3. Oh! You see a singing in front of your eyes. It is very splendid and it approaches you. How can the singing approach me? 003 The first new abnormality in this run. I'm looking forward to that. I haven't even actually read that flavor text before, I think. Hello, manager. It's your third day working here. Free is a mysterious number. Is it really? <laughs> Powerful beings in Fable often grant others free wishes. That's true. Well, I'm not a major billionaire to grant you wishes. But I know what your predecessors wanted. All of them seek a sort of growth. Are you talking about the seat of light or are you talking about personal growth? Because both are true, kinda. Leading the company to prosperity, achieving spiritual maturity, you name it. They all wanted to branch out to somewhere. They're all the same person. <laughs> How about you? We don't need prosperity. We want spiritual maturity. Doesn't like that. Come to think of it, there was someone who gave me the same answer. As you know, nothing here is spiritual. So I asked the definition of spirit. Then the person said, Well, I don't remember the details of the conversation. Even an I, AI can't store every data. Unnecessary data should be deleted for smooth operations. Yeah, I can see your smooth operations right here, Angela. 
right there. So did their wish come true? Well, I guess what happened to others isn't important to you. I will support you to reach your goal. Oh, she's such a smug fucking cunt, isn't she? <laughs> I shouldn't insult her that, that early, really. Because I think she's actually really trying to help us. I'm not quite sure, I can't tell. Someone told me, or rather a lot of you actually told me that um, the 100% ending, the true ending, is more about Angela than anyone else. I hope that's true. Let's hire one more person. Noah. What's up with this hairstyle? Why is it... Ugh, why is this the most used hairstyle in this game? Let's deploy Noah. And let's give Noah some gear. Noah gets another white weapon. Oh. Oh yeah, Noah can actually... Oh, of course, they're level 4. Noah can use the sword sharpened by tears. And which suit does Noah want? Um, this one. I have no one in Discord yet. So, let's start. Oh, fuck. What? Is this like... Is this Blue Star's little sister or something? Because that's a lot of hearts. Not a lot of legs, but a lot of hearts. So, Noah. I bet you want to be the first one to see what the fuck is happening here. A fresh recruit. Let's start with instinct and let's hope for the best. Let's actually keep all of them over here just in case this thing gets out. Noah should be able to survive even a bad work result. Except if this thing straight up kills him. On a bad work result. So Noah is still alive. Everything is looking fine. Immediately healed. This thing is not out yet. I guess it's some... Tav for Saiyan, so it should be kinda easy to suppress. It only tickles, <laughs> says Noah. Hmm, Noah? Seems like you got you got the the stuff for some A team member, if you think that it only tickles. So does this thing have a clip of counter of two? If it does, and if it decreases on a bad work result, there it is! Let's watch what it's doing first, okay. Um, let's send Noah. Oh, this thing is... Oh, it's so shit, look at it! It's going down like a little bitch. Oh, it's going down like hot when you insult her, actually. Because I don't know if you knew, but she likes that stuff. Okay. Let's go with attachment this time. Something must be good for this thing. Except if I'm maybe in kind of a weird spot of um, stat allocation where nothing on free is good on this thing. Let's unlock some some of it. Yeah, you see. Oh, actually, I can maybe maybe I can train up repression on it. Alex, it's your turn now. And while we're at it, we might as well send someone to to train some other stuff. Also, oh fuck, I forgot punishing bird. So this thing is a clip of counter, okay. When the work result was normal, clip of counter was reduced with a normal probability. Useful. Attachment is high, okay, so it got a lot of attachment abnormalities again. Let's um, level up Daphne's attachment. And let's level up, who is this? Alex's attachment as well. And... Firenze's insight. Let's do this for a little bit because I might as well get them at least one level higher or something. Even if I already have more than enough energy and actually I'm kind of well off on stats. Yeah, okay, so imagine if imagine if you had only level one dudes and they're not as good as equipped as as good as as good equipped as my guys. What is wrong with me? Am I having a stroke or something? Um, of course it would be harder than if this thing escapes. When the work result was bad, clip of counter was reduced with a higher probability. When Gustav's son employee in the containment unit fell into panic, clip of counter has decreased, so... I guess it deals black damage, so it can actually panic you. Interesting, but not... 
Not the most crazy thing, I guess. It's weak against white. Stealing white damage as well, but... Oh, the crossbow is pretty strong, I guess. Okay, let's keep working Punishing Bird. So its counter doesn't decrease as much. Okay, we still need to unlock some more stuff for... Whatever this thing is called, actually. The Somewhere Spear and the Somewhere Spear suit. Oh, that suit looks cool. It's purple. It's not necessarily the coolest looking color, but <laughs> it still looks kind of nice. Actually, do I have anything? Or rather, everything for the Punishing Bird? I don't. Curious. And it's the Fragment of the Universe. What? How long is the story? Oh my god, the story is really long. Maybe I'll go through the stories in a separate video, I don't know. So let's farm this a little bit more. So we can extract some gear from it. Oh, it needs 30, 30 boxes. Okay. Okay. I think that should be enough for Temperance 4. Maybe. Maybe not. Whoops. Okay, 27 minutes of recording. Gonna end day 3 soon and then finish day 4. And I guess that's it then for the start of season 2 of Lobotomy Corporation. Um, bye, manager Lambda Delta with the best viewers around. That's you, my little abnormalities. Or, oh, I promoted some of you, right? <laughs> I promoted some of you to Sephira because you made it with me to the end. Well, guess what? Tough luck. You're all little abnormalities again. I'm gonna demote you now. Because we went back in time. <laughs> Actually, we kind of really did. So it has a canon reason to do this. I'm not just being mean. Okay, let's wait for this to finish and then I'll end day three. Day 3, work complete. Yes. Another S rank, with a few trumpets, but they don't really matter, do they? 12 minutes. Of course, the in-game time is kind of weird because I'm sped up real fast. And I leveled up my guys. Look at this, that's nice. Let's start day 4 again. Maybe another new abnormality? Betrayed hearts were slowly forgotten in the depths. Or the mirror of adjustment, or the luminous bracelet, so this means today is a tool day. G0997. Let's see what the betrayed hearts are all about. Are you proud of what you do here? Why is the music so weird on this day? If not, this news will change your mind. After your arrival, the energy output has increased by 13%. A 13% increase is a record breaking figure! Yay! How do you feel? I feel fucking great! I am proud! Since you came, the company is doing better. That means you're doing your job. <laughs> wow! That will be only good news. Yay! A machine doesn't flatter easily. I get the feeling that you'd flatter me on just about everything, Angela. It's good to know that you're happy. I remember your face when you first came here. You were withdrawn. Face all grim. And were alerted at my presence. It's okay for you to be happy now. And it's a special day today. See the glass of champagne? Let us toast. Wait a second, Angela. Why don't we toast with some wine? Oh, it's not someone's birthday or the company foundation day. It's just day four. You lost an employee for the first time yesterday. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't. I remember when I first did this, I think it was true. I really did lose an employee and it, it scared me that the game was alluding to that, but I didn't this time. And many more will follow. I am helping you to cope with it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't lose a single employee in this run. Who knows? They knew the risks from the beginning. The company grows under sacrifices. I'm sure they would feel proud of themselves in their dying breath. Maybe it's because I lost a clerk. I don't know. You should respect them. That is why we're toasting now. Cheers for the deceased to remember the noble sacrifices. Are we actually toasting on Carmen's death here? Don't drink the champagne. 
Are you saving it for later? I honestly can't remember how I decided the first time around, if I drank it or not. Fine, there will be many occasions to toast on. But manager, please refrain from drinking alone. <laughs> Celebrating alone is not good. Yeah. I know, but... Sometimes... Sometimes you just want to get drunk on your own, don't you? Uh, or, I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> maybe I'm kind of... Maybe I'm weird. Liking to drink when I'm editing and stuff. Uh, sometimes I wonder if you can tell <laughs> when I do this. <laughs> Drinking while editing. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what? I'm not getting overly drunk. But still, what the fuck is this? Okay. Let's send... Actually, no, 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 let's let's speed this up. Who do I want to send to do this? Noah. Do I care about Noah? Do I care about Firenze? Who do I don't care about yet? Guess Alex is... Alex is not really my kind of guy or girl. Whatever Alex is. Fun fact. Alex is the name of my ex-girlfriend, so you know what we'll do? <laughs> We're gonna fucking sacrifice her now <laughs> by sending her into this thing. See what it does. Oh, wait, wait a second, what? What? Nothing happened. Don't get too serious about this. What is happening with you? Alex never looked this happy with me, you know. Oh, that's... That's what she looked like, basically. <laughs> what? A mysterious marble hanging in the containment unit. Use the target to upgrade an eagle weapon. Small energy will be consumed upon upgrade. What? Wait a second, I'm gonna... I think I'll have to read this again. Give me a second. Because I don't think I get... I quite get it yet. Use the target to upgrade an ego weapon. Small energy will be consumed upon upgrading. Why... Why is she always going in and then not doing it? Why isn't she doing anything? What are you saying? Let's pause. Just relax and work, she says. Alex, what the fuck? Alex, what the fuck? Where's your fucking... I'm pretty sure I gave Alex a weapon, didn't I? I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, let's see. Alex, go to Fragment of the Universe duty now. Let's... Let's watch this again. Okay. Oh, she's praying, isn't she? She's happy. She's happy. Oh, she's really fucking happy. And... She is... Oh god, that's so fucking cute. I can't believe it. What is going on there? What? Old Believe and Promise is the name. Single-use type. What? Let's send Daphne again because it worked better with her. I guess Alex doesn't have a weapon to upgrade somehow. I don't know. Okay, it's glowing golden again. It's taking energy every time, I think, so... That's interesting. It's an interesting concept. Oh, oh, of course. Um, weapon upgraded through the target will have stronger attack power. However, there's a chance the eagle weapon will. There's a chance the eagle weapon will perish during the upgrade. <laughs> no. What weapon did she have? What weapon did I give Alex? Because it's gone now. Please tell me it's just unequipped and it's still on the deployment screen. Because if this was a good weapon of an abnormality I don't plan on picking again, 
Oh, fuck. Man. What? Oh, come on. That's kind of mean. Do I want to send someone in? Okay, let's let's take a look. A soul sharpened by tears. Do I plan on taking her again? I don't know. Black Swan. Hmm. Hornet. I don't really want to take the bees again. I definitely don't want to pick the magical girl again. I want my meltdowns in peace. So let's send Daphne again. Because I think I'll take the swans again. So they're throwing... I guess they're throwing in the weapon and... Oh. Didn't like that, I guess. Now it's gone? It's gone. Okay. So depending on what happens, they're either happy or unhappy. Oh, I'm gonna have to play around with that some more, I believe. Not on day four, though. I'll finish day four now. We might as well. We might as well send some more people in here. Oh, God. Oh, I could really go for one more day. Do you also want one more day, maybe? Maybe we'll end with day five? I actually only planned on three days, but... Day four already was so quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Eight minutes. And some weapons lost, I guess. Shit. So... This should mean that... Oh, I don't get a new abnormality, right? I first have to max out this one, this department. Hmm. The founder said this to me several times. Each successful experiment makes you a better person. Or do you mean each suppression? But she didn't know about that, did she? The company became great after repeated failures and difficulties. So will you. Every day in the company is a step for, towards greatness. How was your day? Of course, it was fine. Let's spare the pleasantries. Manager, how has your life been? Think the last time I said okay or something? Horrible? Not good. Not good. I can't see the color of your life as you perceive. While I can't console you by saying, that's not true. Maybe I did answer this one, I don't know. Many things will change. That much is clear. It's a cheap metaphor. But a tree doesn't just grow anywhere. Are you talking about the tree of light, perchance? Angela? Do you maybe know what the fuck is going on more than you let on? It requires fertile soil, right temperature, and water. Most seeds end up on barren soil. Maybe she only knows what A is trying to do. Because I distinctly remember, and I distinctly remember because I looked it up again last time I was uh, fucking around in the, in the codex and story segments. When you reach seed of light at 10%, which means you beat your first um, cause depression, uh, Angela is kind of confused because she didn't know that the Sephira could do that and she didn't know what the fuck was happening, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, so she doesn't know about the whole cause depression mechanic. She doesn't know what A is trying to do by um, gathering the weaknesses and overcoming them together with the Sephira. So she must know about the whole tree thing, but she doesn't know the way to get there, I guess. For them, rooting and sprouting small leaves are a challenge full of pain. I can't provide you with water or light, but I will do my best to tend to the soil. Oh, I can give you some seed for the soil if you want to, Angela. If you know what I mean. Ah, oh, this playthrough will be full of innuendos towards Angela, by the way. <laughs> no more, no more Bina Waifu stuff, okay? Bina is second place for this playthrough. Angela is gonna be my main focus on this one. <laughs> Let's see if I can woo her enough not to kill me, because I'm still expecting her to stab a dagger in my back. I'm still expecting that, even though I kinda hit one ending for this game already. So let's see, Ego List. Who doesn't have a weapon? I guess both Daphne and Alex don't have a weapon. You know what, guys? Have some, have some say in weapons. <laughs> yes. Then again, I could give you the weapons from... I could give you the beaks, if you want to. Let's give you the beaks. Do I still have a white weapon? I don't. Okay, one of you has to get a white weapon. Just in case someone goes crazy. Just in case. And let's start day 5 without any new abnormalities, sadly. But I'm gonna max out some more shit here, hopefully. 
Okay. Oh, look. Now we got the gift from one sin. I should probably... I should probably pay attention to all of that gift stuff this time. More than I did before in the early days. Because I actually, as I said before, I want a Giga Chat to be able to tank White Knight. I guess this means being on the lookout for the best gifts I can get. What's Punching Bird's gift? Is it any good? It isn't. Then again, White Knight's gift also isn't that good. <laughs> SP plus 2 and some work success rate. A fragment of the universe. Brooch 1. I don't know how many slots fit that. Success rate plus 2, work speed plus 2. Also doesn't sound that amazing, does it? So, it ha upgraded the beak, but I don't see any upgrade really. Guess we'll just keep using it for the required number 7. I bet it will fuck up now. No? Okay, it did it again. How many do I have yet? Six. Okay, one more time, no matter the outcome. Will be enough. Halfway there. Day five will be really quick, I guess. Oh yeah, my people are already leveling up their attachment. <laughs> this feels oddly reminiscent of, of the first playthrough. <laughs> attachment was my best stat for a long time. Let's see. A mysterious marble hanging in the containment unit. We know about countless promises and beliefs that have been repeated from ages ago. However, only hollowness and betray betrayal return from them. Betrayed hearts were slowly forgotten in the depths. If you try without wanting anything in return, you might receive an unexpected reward. Okay, so what happens if you... <sighs> I'm sorry to say, but what happens if you stick your dick in that? Can you even do that? Would it come out stronger than ever? Or maybe it would fall off if you... <laughs> If you expect too much. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Why is this episode such a fucking mess? Why am I talking so much bullshit? Fuck, this is really bad. Imagine finding this video. And you don't know anything else about me. You'd think that I'm some fucking deviant or something. Maybe I am, but I'm not that bad. Anyway, let's um, finish up on this fragment of the universe work and then let's complete day five another s rank five minutes skip to next day yes go uh this time i can choose a new abnormality you can look forward to that next week oh i have to re-extract oh there's a new one. Oh, oh, four, 100 the more blood it has the more beautiful it is <laughs> There's another joke about dicks in there, okay? But I won't make it... You can think of that yourself. Actually, I kind of made it now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You thought of it. I only... I only mentioned it. Hey, Angela. How's it going? Hmm? You want to see something filled with blood? Maybe? And I'm not talking about a bathtub, by the way. Oh god, that was really insensitive of me to say towards Angela slash Carmen's body, I guess. As you know, there are a lot of employees working for the company. Most of them want to know more about you. Some will show initiative and approach you first. It's funny, knowing you in person doesn't improve the odds. There are no regulations that prevent you from interacting with them in person. It seems the one who made the rules didn't consider situations like this. It is a good opportunity for you to show them that you care. Words travel faster than you might think. I'm not going to stop someone from reaching you. But you don't have to do everything they want. Just thank them for the effort. And tell them you wish they would keep up the good work. That's a win-win, don't you think? Are you following me? What they, we, need is a gesture of goodwill. Nothing more. Don't go overboard. Give them a vending machine and they will demand a bar. Is there a bar abnormality in this game? Because I can definitely get a vending machine. I expect you to make the right decision. So don't get too attached, she says, basically. Let's unlock the information team. Hey, yes, are, are you okay? Or is there any itch you can't scratch? Oh, it's kind of sad that I'm not getting the story segments for the sufferer, but my plan on this, I've just decided while reading, reading the Angela segment, is to go through... I think there's six story segments for each of the Sephiroths. And 
every other episode, I will go through all six of those. Just so we can, you know, catch up on some of the happenings with the Sephira and maybe we can see some more foreshadowing. Maybe we can speculate about what the fuck was the driving factor for the Sephira joining us, why they did the bullshit they did, how much suffering they went through, if they went through more suffering than me with White Knight or not, because I'm pretty sure that none of them did. And yeah. I guess next time we also hire some more people. There's three new slots left. Maybe I'll fill it up with these guys. Maybe I'll fill it up with some more dudes and save up my lore points. Who knows? Also, next time we have ordeals. Yay! I'm looking forward to that. Finally, some fighting again. I hope you enjoyed today's first episode. It feels really... Oh, it feels so good. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can understand that, but... Playing this game with White Knight <laughs> and the Queen of Hatred and Yami in pink for the last few days and some other bullshit at the same time. Man, it's it's really stressful. It's more stressful than I thought. People meme about this game and say that it's not comfy at all. And I get it. If you get the wrong abnormalities, it isn't comfy. If you get bullshit like this though, where you can just decide when to work or when to stop or when to sacrifice your weapons man this game couldn't be any easier right just watch me get some abnormality that absolutely crushes my balls that i didn't have before <laughs> that i somehow magically dodged because the first 40 days or something you guys kept telling me that i'm the luckiest motherfucker on earth when it comes to picking abnormalities i think only white knight was really bad and then the last few days i also got some bad ones anyway i hope you enjoyed that and I hope you look forward to next week of episode 2. And, oh man. Let's hope that I'm not too lazy to implement all of the new stuff I plan to to improve in this season. And I hope it's the quality you've hoped for. If you've hoped for dick jokes and sexy innuendos and bad plays, you've got the right series here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>